Hey, how's everybody doing? Jeff back with another lesson. Today we are looking at Matt McGuire. We're looking at um, a part, a groove, um, a skill, a lick that he does in um, Roddy Rich's song, uh, The Box. And the pattern that he does, I've seen him do it in other, in other tracks, so it's one that I'm sure he does um, a lot. But in this particular case, it's one that's really fast. Probably one of the fastest fills I've ever had to learn um, to be able to teach. Now, this particular pattern uh, involves crossovers, and all crossovers are where your hands... Instead of they being this way around, they're crossed over. Now, in this instance, we're only ever going to cross the right over the top of the left. Now, Matt McGuire, obviously a huge um, YouTube sensation, right? Amazing player. One of his big th uh, traits is having these two hi-hats. So he has one hi-hat on his left. He has these a bit higher and his right a bit higher, but he has two different hi-hats. If you've got two hi-hats, use those today. Um, if not, just use your ride symbol instead, all right? So every time I say I'm hitting this symbol over here, instead hit the ride symbol. Um... Okay, so to, start, to get straight away started into this then, the first thing we're going to learn is the crossover pattern, and then I'm going to go back and teach you the groove. Now, you've just seen me demonstrate the groove, so you've got an idea of what it is. We're going to learn it way slower. So the first thing we're going to learn to do is just hit the drum five times. We're going to start over on this hi-hat, and we're going to go one, two over here, and then three is going to be a crossover, three, and then four, and then five. So we hit this twice, hit that once, hit this twice. As simple as that. All we do then is we add two other notes at the start of that over on this hi-hat. So it ends up then being seven notes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So now we start thinking there's a triplet, as in like um, hickory dickory dock. fairly easy yeah now the pattern itself is actually um, it's a triple bass pattern and if we think of it as six plus six that first that was the first six hickory dickory and then another another hickory dickory and then a release so the whole thing real slowly is this so the second half pattern um starts over here let me get this right so we go one two three four five six stop so all the lefts are going to be on the hi-hat over here and the right hand simply going to do this over the six beats, or seven, because we're going to play the release, so like this. So, first part. Second part. So if I put the two together, We'll talk about getting the speed in a moment, but first of all, you need to understand the pattern. So if I play that now, once more, we're going to put a bass drum on the very first note and the very last note, and that's exactly what he plays. So my idea to work on my timing is I put a bass drum on the middle note as well, like this. And I put a metronome on. Um, the track itself, I would pr I'd put the metronome on 117. So if I take this down to, I don't know, 80. The, uh, that's counting eighth notes. Let's get it counting quarter notes. So speed, how do we work on the speed? Well, what I do with this particular pattern, to get the speed, I work on a right hand first on its own and then the left hand on its own. Now to figure that out, you could just look at the notation and go through it and figure out every right hand, this hits that, then that and that and so on. Or you could just put your left hand on your leg or air drum it. So here's the air drum version. And you can see it's this kind of windscreen wiper motion the right hand does. So just press that. Left hand's a bit more complicated because he goes. So 
So here's this one once, this one twice, and then this one, and I think it'll be three times, won't it? So we get. That's the hard part for me, right? Once you practice just the right hand first, left hand on its own first, you'll find you can do this a little bit faster. So how does it fit with the groove then? Well, let's chat a little bit about um, the, how Matt McGuire creates some of his grooves and how he uses this hi-hat. So a normal drummer, let's say, might play this groove. One of the traits that I've seen Matt McGuire use a lot is to use this to uh, accentuate, accent, certain notes within the, within the pattern. So that was 16th notes, one E and a, two E and a. So he might accent every time he plays an E on this guy here. So instead of going one E and a, two E and they might go one E and a, two E and a, like that. Another trait that he's got is to play just the left hand on the snare drum instead of hitting both, and that'll give you this. We might do the same thing, but on the as. One E and a, uh, two E and a. Uh. In this particular groove, he starts it with the left hand crash up here. Obviously, I've taken mine away so you can see me a little bit clearer. So instead of hitting on the left hand, I'll hit this with my right hand. And my right hand simply does this. It goes there, there, two here, and that's the first four notes done. Now, the bass drum on the first and last note like this. Then we do one more. Then that fill comes in. So the, so the release of that fill is here, then the hi-hat, then a normal. Now there's some of the bass drums in there, I'm not going to worry about those today, right, because he ad-libs that part most of the time, and he only plays this for a small chunk of this song, all right? So we get... Now that's hard for me to play slow, um, because I haven't been practicing it slow, so if I put this on... Da, 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 let's try and do it with that. So once you've mastered that, you've got the beat. Now, all you've got to do then is get up to his speed. Now, as I said at the start, his speed is pretty insane. Um, this particular pattern, this idea, this pattern could be put anywhere on the kit. Well, it doesn't have to be on the hi-hats. So obviously, he's got two hi-hats. could do it on the toms. Two crashes if you've got two crashes with a double quick. Right, there's a million things you could do. Take this as a pattern that as a as, as a pattern that you can then create as many other things as you can come up with up here, alright? So if you've enjoyed the lesson, please subscribe, please tell people about this, please leave me some comments. If you've got any other things you'd like me to figure out for you and show you, uh, leave it in the comments and I'll do my best to to do that stuff for you. Um, let me know if you've got it. Hopefully enough information there. See you again next time.